Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this is Jay All Day back with another review. Uh, I want to thank everybody who took the time out to check out my other reviews. Um, I definitely appreciate that. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. If you guys want to leave comments and, and advice on, you know, uh, making better videos and how to make this stuff work better for me that would be great <laughs> i'm just using my phone right now so quality is okay but and i'm definitely going to inv invest in better products so that i can you know do this better and continue to bring uh to bring uh great videos to you guys but uh like i said in the meantime just hit that subscribe button for me and uh yeah so um what do i have in front of me can y'all guess what does it look like vodka rum Hmm? Gin? Hmm. Let me let y'all get closer in on the bottom. Okay, you see that says Remy Martin, right? O'Day V. Devine. It's that French stuff. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. But, um, yeah, so what y'all think it says? Well, O'Day V stands for, well, means water of life. That's, that's French for water of life, right? But another commonly used uh, common usage of the phrase eau de vie, uh, is young brandy. Hint, hint. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a brandy, basically. This is what this is. This is what comes out when you f initially make brandy or any of your uh, darker, you know, spirits. Uh, whether it's, um, sorry, cognac, brandy, bourbon, whiskey. Uh, it all comes out like this, okay? Aging in those barrels is what gives it its darker color, all right? So right now, this is just a colorless spirit, all right? Now, Eau de V also basically refers to any fruit-based distilled beverage, okay? So any kind of orchard fruit, apples, pears, plums, cherries, blackberries, uh, that's what they call Eau de V, okay? So... You basically are making a, you know, a fruit, you know, spirit in a way. But duveen at the bottom means wine. Now, that's confusing because this isn't a wine. Now, the grapes that are used for this uh, are found in Grand Champagne, which is a district in France, French, di uh, French district. OK, so that's where the grapes come from. You know, most of this stuff is, 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 is French, right? So, um, basically, it's the same process as, as making any other spirit, except, uh, like I said, the aging process. But these are going to be distilled twice in, in copper pots, all right? Um, now, wine, you already know, is a fermented fruit, you know what I'm saying, basically with added yeast to, to, to make alcohol, right? Now, spirits takes that fermented product, okay, and... and basically adds like mixtures or mash of like grains and such, right? Like the malted barley when we were talking about bourbons and stuff like that, right? So you you distill that fermented product and then add the other such, right? So that's basically how you make those spirits. So this is this is basically a spirit. It's not a wine, right? Now again, uh being that this is a fruit, you know, a fruit based uh distilled drink um the flavor of the fruit that you use is going to be very very light like this particular one you're supposed to get like a, a pear melon type of aroma when you open it up and smell it but then there's supposed to be some ginger chocolate lime wood notes once you actually taste it okay so I, that's kind of interesting to to get all of that from this but we'll see in a minute when i crack this thing open um, now, how would you drink this? Uh, you could drink it neat or straight, basically on the rocks, uh, or you could substitute this uh, for your gin and your your vodkas when you make other uh, I'm sorry other uh, cocktails such as martini, screwballs. I'm sorry, screwdrivers and bloody marys, um, or you can just mix it with soda. Um, any kind of like Sprite, uh, Seven Up, Sierra Mist, or tonic. Okay. So a um, couple things you can do with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust this thing on open for the first time. I've had this in my collection for quite some time. And this is actually gonna be my very first time tasting it. Yeah, it actually smells like a, a, a cognac or something like that, or basically a brandy. It does smell like it. 
I, I definitely smell the grapes. Definitely smell the grapes. That there for you. Yeah. Definitely get that cognac feel. I'm sorry, brandy. It's not made in cognac, so it's not the cognac. But you get that. Ooh, ooh it's burning going down. Goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's smooth. But it's a nice little burn. But this is the first drink I had of the day, too. So that might be the, might be the reason why it's burning so much. Um, very much get that woody, woody taste. Which is funny because they say they don't age it. Um, so maybe they age it for a week or so. Um, strong. Uh, 35 to 50% uh, ABV. Alcohol by volume. This is 40%. But most old AVs are going to be anywhere from 35 to 50. So definitely strong. Alright. Nothing to play with. Um, so I can see why you would want to drink it neat on the rocks. Um, but I can also see it in certain uh, cocktails as well. So um, I think this is a good choice. Uh, it's not terrible. Um, actually tastes pretty decent. Um, a little bit of a sweetness. As it's finishing, I can taste the pear. As it finishes, I taste a little bit of that pear, that light pear. So it's, it's a little bit of sweetness to it. It's not bad. It's something that I think uh, you would definitely enjoy um, if you wanted to drink white. You know, you have your people who prefer light, dark. Um, but I mean, honestly, if you if somebody just blindfolded you and gave you this, you would think you're drinking a, a brandy or something like that sort of or whiskey is, is strong. Um, yeah, definitely. It's got those legs on it. Definitely got those legs. So it's, it's, it's some good, <laughs> strong alcohol in there. All right. Well, look, um, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some, throw this on the rocks, man, and enjoy this. It is Father's Day today. I'm gonna also get on the grill here. I've been craving burgers, so I'm gonna jump out there and throw some burgers on the grill for myself and just kind of chill out, relax. Um, may do a, a review later, um, on uh, vodka, the difference between uh, Belvedere and Grey Goose, because a lot of people feel like they're the same, but they're not the same, okay? So look out for that later if I decide to do it. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys enjoy.